It is that time of the week again, folks. The new Red Dead Online content update released on Tuesday, which introduced new legendary animals, two legendary bucks to be specific, a new free roam event, new hardcore PvP mode with insane golden money bonuses, other benefits, but most importantly, some absolutely unbelievable free rewards and huge discounts to check out and take advantage of. And that's exactly what we are going to be going over today. Today's video can hopefully serve as your guide on how to use these huge discount opportunities in a smart way, giving you the biggest return. We haven't had so many items and coupons given to us like this in a while, so act fast before this week's event changes next Tuesday. I'll always have you covered here on the channel Hazard Gang, so if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it, and if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your notifications turned on. Jumping in, let's talk some free items first, because if it's faux free, it's faux me, you know what I'm saying? And then after, we can discuss other massive discounts and other redeemable items. If you haven't jumped into Red Dead Online yet this week, make sure you boot up the game and play before September 21st to receive the following one-time gifts for absolutely free. A reward for a free ability card. This applies to any ability that you haven't purchased yet, and personally, some of my favorites are Paint It Black and quite an inspiration in the Dead Eye card category. In the green recovery card category, I recommend most of them actually, but specifically some top picks like Strange Medicine, Cold Blooded, Eye for an Eye, Kick in the Butt, Iron Lung, or Peak Condition. As far as blue defense ability cards, abilities like Never Without One, The Unblinking Eye, and Fool Me Once will suit you quite well. And lastly, for combat cards, you'll be best off if you choose to unlock Winning Streak, Gunslinger's Choice, and for the snipers out there, Sharpshooter. Next up, you can get a reward for free sedative varmint cartridges. Of course, this is most useful for ranking up the naturalist role, but if you already have max level, you can use these on legendary animals to stamp your rare animal field guide collections. Now, as for what's up next, a reward for free legendary animal pheromones. Hazard Gang, I know it's crazy rare to come across legendary animals in the free realm, so when you finally do stumble upon one, you certainly don't want to miss your special opportunity to sedate or skin the animal, and with these pheromones you can use them and you will hear their legendary animal call out while it is in hiding. So there is a pamphlet for this, although I certainly wouldn't recommend buying it, especially as it costs $900, but nonetheless, getting some free samples of these pheromones to use will definitely come in handy on your hunts. And lastly, you will get 2,000 Naturalist XP for absolutely free. That's an entire rank free of the Naturalist role, saving you some time grinding right there. Now, keep in mind, those are rewards you will receive from Rockstar absolutely free. Literally, all you need to do is boot up the game, and it doesn't end there. You'll also get some insane discounts on really important items here as well. One of them is an offer for 30% off a revolver. For this, I obviously have to recommend either the Navy Revolver or the Lamat Revolver. The Schofield is totally fine as well, but the double action honestly just isn't worth using at all if you aren't running either Painted Black or Gunslinger's Choice. But on the other hand, if you love firing a weapon really fast, the Navy Revolver is a good choice for you, and if you like having a ton of ammo to really suppress enemies in Red Dead Online, the Lamat is going to be a perfect choice of revolver. With 9 bullets to the chamber, even when you miss, you don't actually miss. And like I said, the Schofield is just average. I feel like. Just like the Cattleman. Average fire rate, average reload time, average accuracy, but the Navy and the Lamats come with considerable advantages and cost quite a lot, so your 30% discount goes even farther with these weapons this week. You can also unlock an offer for 30% off any novice or promising item in the Naturalist roll, and this is a really sweet deal here as well. Naturalist roll items are actually quite expensive, and being able to obtain mid-rank rewards for 30% cheaper is going to help everyone out. To give you some recommendations to hopefully help you make a better decision, I would say this offer would would best be used on the Foxmore saddle because it's a pretty decent saddle overall and it looks nice on the Gypsy Cobb Naturalist horse and is really expensive so you'll get your money's worth here. Other than that though, check out the Naturalist Varmint Rifle variant or the Gypsy Cobb horses themselves too. Now as for becoming a Naturalist, if you do decide this is a role you really want to pursue, take advantage of a free role accessory, outfit, or emote. The choice with this one is up to you. This reward can be used for any role accessory, outfit, or emote. It doesn't just need to be for the naturalist, so keep that in mind. If you sedate and sample any animal, you'll get the Gila Monster Camp Flag. This is actually the easiest thing to do this week as well, honestly, besides load up the game. And with free sedative varmint rifle cartridges, you should be even more set for this challenge as well. Now, if you complete an animal sighting mission for Harriet, you'll get a reward for a unique colorway of the Farnholm Double Bandolier. Double Bandoliers look great on your character, and as you 
you can see in my gameplays, I use them on a majority of my outfits, and I'm actually really looking forward to building an outfit around the style of this unique bandolier added in the Naturalist update. Now, this next free reward really isn't free in the slightest and still not worth it unless you have more money than you know what to do with, but here it goes anyway. Purchase a wilderness camp and get a reward for a free treasure map. Again, like I said, not necessarily worth it for anyone really. The wilderness camp isn't worth it for its price tag of $750 and with the ability to spawn your camp anywhere and all the other campfires spread across the world that you can easily use without using the wilderness camp, it just really isn't worth your time at all. But even with an included treasure map, realistically, you'll earn a gold bar from it and maybe $100, maybe a little bit more. So you'll still be spending like $650 on the wilderness camp. Now there are some other big discounts we need to quickly go over as well. This week you can take advantage of 40% off all tonics in Harriet's shop, while those on the hunt for fashion can take 30% off all craftable coats in Gus's store, plus 30% off all trinkets. So speaking about the tonics, I have purchased the max for all of them just because. I have way too much money and I wasn't spending it, so now I'll have these probably forever now because you get so many, and I wouldn't necessarily say any of these are truly worth the money unless you're just looking to buy a few of them or looking to max or minimize your stats immediately if you really want to change your weight to max quickly and save some money just eat a piece of prime beef join a new lobby eat another piece and rinse and repeat that until you're either at perfect weight status or overweight status obviously buying max isn't worth it but if you just want to spend money for no reason then this week is good to save a little while doing so the trinkets gus is offering is definitely something you'll want to get on this week though if possible these are very expensive and they all give you small boosts but some only help you with 10 percent of a certain stat but if you have the material requirements gus asked for you probably won't see a 30% discount on these items for a while so if you think you'll ever want these trinkets to give your character some extra passive abilities or you're just looking to save some money when you do purchase them they are 30% off this week and are more worth it than when they aren't on discount obviously again 30% off Gus's trapper coats as well the garment sets those are usually very expensive and cutting 30% off the price is very handy here as well now those are all the free items and huge discounts Rockstar is giving away this week in Red Dead Online some are extremely limited so so make sure you act fast, but some you can take your time on redeeming as well. Whatever you decide to do with these redeemables, I hope this video helped you out and helped guide you to make a more informed decision on your purchases. This video was kind of all about spending money wisely, but if you'd like to earn money fast, I uploaded a video yesterday on the best way to do so, so definitely go check that out. It will be linked in the description down below, but specifically for this week only, there are some other huge tips for massive money-making opportunities we will be talking about next as well. That's where we're going to wrap up the video here today. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Red Dead Online, Red Dead Redemption 2, and even Rockstar Games as a whole. We'll be sure to keep you guys up to date with updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on all three of those websites, and you can feel free to strike up a conversation or even ask me a question. Whatever it may be, though, you can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links, including my Discord, can be found in the description down below. With that said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.